Good afternoon to all of you. My name is Ruti Ranjan I have a Bachelor of Engineering and MBA from Indian Institute of Management for IPO. Today I will speak about the smelter of the future, how the aluminum smelter will look like in the future to come. The agenda includes the impact of the climate change, the response of the technology, increasing of the remote work and penetration of the industry for big data analytics into the structure. Now we all know all the countries have gathered in the COP21 in the Paris and the, its only goal is to limit the global warming to well below 2 degrees centigrade and preferably to 1.5 degrees centigrade compared to pre-industrial levels. If you break up a sectorial percentage of contribution to greenhouse gases and energy industry in energy intensive industries they contribute approximately 30 percent therefore being an aluminum smelter we need to rethink the energy source it should be renewable or it should be renewable you can see the total fossil fuel carbon dioxide emissions from 2000 to 2020 india is growing at 2.2 percent per year but i think in the next 20 years if the graph will be on the decreasing stage with the rapid adoption of the renewable power. Now, how a smelter should be green? A smelter will be green if its supplier will be green, if its customer will be green. The whole supply chain will be practicing less fossil fuel consumption and adopt renewable energies. Now, in a 2 degree emission scenario, if we want to reduce it to 2 degrees centigrade, by 2 degrees centigrade, the emission to be restricted by 50%. If we target below 2 degrees centigrade scenario, emission to be reduced by 70%. And the only answer is the renewable power. And for aluminum smelters also, it should uh, focus on the use of power input as renewable powers. Now, if we see the direct and indirect smelter emissions, the tons of carbon dioxide per tons of aluminum, this fossil fuel, that is the coal contributes the maximum, whereas gas contributes to the minimum, and gas will be mostly in the Middle East, and hydropower, that is the Brazil, Canada, Norway, and Ireland, there is almost indirect uh, emissions will be nil. PFC emissions, we know in the annual paper in the portroom, the PFC emission takes place, it has a thousand times more potential to damage the environment than carbon dioxide. So, we have come to a level of 0.22 tons of carbon dioxide per ton of aluminum, but still then we need a figure of zero in the future to come. Now, is it possible to have a green smelter? If it is so, the primary requirement is to all energy source to be renewable and uh, after that, alternative technology, in alternative technology, zero anode effect technology, electric heavy vehicles, and then carbon dioxide capture. These are the alternative technologies that we need to adopt post renewable energy for smelters. In a turn, widespread of all the alternative technology, the carbon dioxide that comes out during the chlorination process that would make a, uh, again a convert to carbon monoxide and that can be again utilized in the dissolution of the alumina. In this way the electricity need, need will be approximately less than 5 kilowatt hour per kg of alumina that is 50 percent reduction process in the process. Similarly creating of the alumina in the whole neural cell that can also have a potential to reduce the energy by 50 percent. We need to think of that one. Management should push the carbon dioxide capture technology. No carbon dioxide, no emission, no fumes should come out of the chimney. Rather, it should be captured and reutilized. There are various utilizations in the, from the mineralizations to chemicals to biological conversions. And we can do that one and we will be pushing that one uh, in the future. So this is the future technology. No emissions from the chimneys, only it will be captured. Carbon dioxide will be captured. Carbon dioxide will be captured and it will be further utilized. Now there is the massive industrial for uh, uh, coming to the aluminum smelter. It is not affecting the aluminum smelter. It is rather all the industry on um, industries. Now what we can achieve with the industry for? We can increase the process efficiency in a smelter we can reduce the anode effect or we can target for the zero anode effect such the process stability energy can be reduced to less than 11,000 kilowatt hour per ton of aluminum that way 
take place in the massive opex of any organization improving upon the anodic issue we can study the life cycle of the anode from birth to the death and in the process we can predict which anode is having what impact on which part and for a subplot person there is uh, uh, no uh, gift uh, than to prevent a port failure so we can reduce the port failure by approving the digitalization or the industry for technology now in a connected uh, image or a connect the digitalization implies a connected machine a connected material a connected plant a connected vehicle and everything becomes uh, auto autonomous there will be continuous sensor based measurements there is improving in a penetration of the artificial intelligence uh, statistics into the picture and uh, there is all all there is a connection or we can say it is a connected smelter a connected plant now the remote work percentage also increases of post this uh, with the, during this covid and post this covid also we can expect that the 30 percent people will be preferred to work from home and uh, the cloud adoption also increases by 19 percent as the data says digital transformation is changing the industries digital systems are why is changing the industries because according to the plan we can forecast and we can predict like in weather condition we can save lives of the people by predicting the tsunami or cyclone in this way the digital transformation predicts the short future near future and then plan the you then ask the user to plan accordingly the concept of digital twin is also coming up the conversion of the physical assets into a digital model and then analytics will be done based on the data that is captured thereby giving the user a power to create or to prevent any uh, disasters artificial intelligence that is from a predictive to prescriptive to autopilot so this is what the artificial intelligence and machine learning approach what what the management should do what the organization to do in my my opinion organization to uh, improve upon the skill of the individual or the skill of the software people to uh, make them a digital environment uh, ready to make them uh, digital engineering uh, to, in and it will improve the resilient decision making and uh, there should be it infrastructure inside the plant and the uh, inside the plant and the people are skilled enough in the uh, it environment in the statistical environment so that they can solve their problem with them there is digital transformation enables the improvement there is real-time operational data infrastructure there is digital engineering enables successful an analytics and artificial intelligence to open the door to a new era now for the smelter for a pot room person if i get a problem if i get a solution to the problems then there is no magic than this now improving the uh, skills uh, the software can tell me if the purity gets decreases in a pot then what could be the probable factors and which factor is having maximum influence so for this the average purity decreases by 0 0.02 when the bath height is more than 18 for a single pot or for a section anything so this is how does the artificial intelligence looks like on the ground there are some exciting opportunities also automatic and uh, casting of the node automatic charging and skimming somehow it has uh, adapted by many organizations safe zone monitoring pit monitoring etc and etc it can be uh, explored the smelters of the future what is the requirement the first requirement is renewable energy and then electrical heavy vehicles then zero carbon dioxide and pfc emission is the target then the spent hot lining treatment and utilization from the west side the process needs a high level of commercialization and then digital twin and simulator that can predict the problem that can analyze the problem and then auto measurements and silent compressors that will reduce the noise pollution so how 
should have an aluminum smelter vision for 2040 we expect it should be from a white metal to a green aluminum and the green aluminum metal uh, means the organization the suppliers and the customers all are adopting the green practices thank you thank you very much